Hey, what's up, Lightbulb Joe here. Today we are going to discuss the 2020 Omnibus book, Bill and Ted. So the Bill and Ted Omnibus is a collection of three different uh, Bill and Ted, three different Bill and Ted comics, um, starting from 2015 and then spread out. 2020 is when it was compiled together. Alex Winter, who is our beloved Bill S. Preston Esquire, has a little blurb in the beginning of this, but it's three separate comic books. It's three separate, gra separate graphic novels in one very large very beautiful uh, collection. So first is Bill and Ted, Most Triumphant Return, Bill and Ted Go to Hell, Bill and Ted Save the Universe. That's the three uh, different graphic novels all in one. So Bill and Ted, Most Triumphant Return, takes literally starts out five seconds after they win the Battle of the Bands in 91. So Bill and Ted is the 1981. Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure is the 1989 film. Bill and Ted's Bogus Journey is the 1991 film. There's a live action TV series. There was a cartoon TV series for a while. There's these three graphic novels. There's the 2020 sequel film, Bill and Ted Save the uh, Save the Universe. Fa no, Bill and Ted Face the Music. Um, Bill and Ted Save the Universe. That's the third graphic novel in this. So a lot of this is exploring different timelines, but it's inadvertent exploring timelines because the time machine is on the fritz for some of it. But there's like things that have to happen as they're uniting the universe it's destined that wild stallions the band that bill and s preston esquire and ted theodore logan are forming right wild stallions with their two uh bodacious babe wives that they have um we know that wild stallions music saves the universe right puts peace to the universe as a whole how so they make the song right at battle of the bands which like unites the world but that doesn't unite the whole universe. So how do they, they unite the whole universe? So things happen. So in Bill and Ted's Most Triumphant Return, you have uh, Denomalous, Chuck Denomalous. He is uh, just captured for trying to murder Bill and Ted at the Battle of the Bands after he murdered them, uh, you know, throwing them off the cliff with the evil robot Bill and Ted. And so it's a, it's a, f Bill and Ted take the time machine, go to the future and meet a younger Chuck Denomalous, who's in high school, try to befriend him, try to teach him how to play music, try to make sure he doesn't kill them. Of course, there's ulterior motives, and he then takes their place and becomes his own Wild Stallions band, and his music saves the world, and then everything's resolved. Bill and Ted Go to Hell is about Napoleon taking over heaven and hell. Very interesting about the adventures going on through that as well. Um, Bill and Ted Save the Universe is an interstellar exploration deacon's a big plot point of this uh deacon is is uh ted's younger brother um what else bill and ted's moms are big focal points of this as well trying to make sure that the wild stallions music is circulating the universe to get everybody together it's just so intricate having the different time periods you where we have a dinosaur at one point um we get billy the kid back socrates socrates uh who else joan of arc is here Abraham Lincoln is back, uh, Genghis Khan is back for half a second, like, a lot of characters we know and love for the first and second film are back, but we have new inter characters, new inter new interesting characters are introduced. That, that's what I was trying to say, there we go. Uh, we also have just, just different plot points, different exploration of time, because it's, it's many a years, it's like 800, 900 years uh, going on between all this stuff, main plot-wise. But why it's an alternative timeline is because in Bill and Ted... Face the Music, the 2020 film, we know that Bill and Ted's kids are actually daughters. In these three graphic novels, they're boys. They're, they're literally boys. They're little Bill and little Ted. In the movie, in the 2010, 2020 movie, um, someone references, you know, even when they were younger, you called them, you know, little Bill and little Ted, and you refused to call them by their real names, referencing the girls uh, being called little Bill and little Ted, which is fine. Because it's like timeline equivalent to the movies, but then these are alt timelines then, technically, because Bill and Ted have sons versus Bill and Ted having daughters in the final film. Unless that is the actual true alt timeline, and these are the straight continuation of the first and second film. You could take that either way. Reading these books, the art style, the way that the comics are written, it's very similar to how Walking Dead the comics are. It's very similar to... Um, the Rick and Morty comics. I thought a lot of Rick and Morty when I was reading these. It was very much panels, like storytelling panels, planning out a TV show. It felt like I was reading panels for a TV show, to be honest, within the three different quote-unquote seasons, if you will. So Bill and Ted's Most Triumphant Return, Bill and Ted Go to Hell, Bill and Ted Save the Universe. 
three collections within the Bill and Ted Omnibus from Boom Comics. Boom! Exclamation point. Extremely epic, excellent comic series. Um, be excellent to one another. Party on, dudes. Mucho <laughs> malo.